welcome to the chapter reading maps of different kinds this slide presents the overview of the chapter learning objectives by the end of this chapter you will be able to know the different symbols used in the maps identify the places on the maps based on the symbols define physical maps illustrate how heights on the land are measured describe how heights can be shown on a map explain contour lines interpret the uses of the maps showing heights define the mean sea level introduction before entering into the chapter follow the instructions shown on the screen click each tab to know more we know in the earlier class we have learned how to read simple maps the maps give details of climate forests heights etc of different places the world we are living is full of variety as it has huge mountains sea coasts deserts forests snow covered regions etc did you see any one of these places can you guess the reason for variation in these places do you know how these variations affect the lives of people living in these places let us know in order to know the answers we need to study about the different types of the maps in particular let us learn how to show heights on a map Let us start our learning with the topic symbols used in maps. Usually, we use symbols to represent the physical objects on a map. Some of the symbols are listed in the table shown on the screen. Hence, in order to represent all the physical objects on a map, a point, line or an area symbol is used. Now, let us learn about the physical maps in brief usually we find some maps in atlas called the physical maps normally in these physical maps we can observe the different parts of land colored in green yellow or brown these colors denote the variety of landforms such as plains mountains plateaus etc and also show the heights of the place in the physical map shown we can observe that the various parts of the land is colored in green yellow brown and blue the variations in color denote the heights Let us now learn about measuring heights of the lands. Normally, all the heights on the land are measured from the sea level. All over the world, as all the seas are connected to one another, the sea level, that is the top surface, is taken as roughly the same. From the above picture, we can observe clearly that Kangura village is 50 meters above the sea level. Now let us know about showing heights on a map. The image on the screen is the map of Kongara village. Can you observe three height zones in this image? Yes. The area from 0 meter to 50 meters which is in green represents the 50 meters height. Area from 51 meters to 100 meters pink represents the 100 meters height. area from 101 meters to 150 meters 
brown represents the 150 meters height. Thus, the different heights are represented through different colors. Let us now learn about contour lines. A contour is a line joining the places of same heights. In the picture on the screen, person A is at below sea level. Person B is at zero contour line, sea level, and person C is at 50 meters above the sea level. The shape of the contour lines is irregular as they depend upon the landform. Contour lines cannot cut one another. Based on the type of landscape, the distance between two contour lines is determined. When looked close together, the contour lines indicate a steep slope. When they are far from each other, the contour lines represent gentle slope. Now, let us know how maps showing heights are used. The maps showing heights help us in understanding the nature of the terrain, the location of the mountains and the valleys, etc. Contour lines show the height and the outline of the terrain. The map showing heights plays an important role when dams or roads are being constructed. Usually, in some places, the land will have ups and downs. In such cases, these maps help us to decide the route to take for laying the roads. Moreover, while planning the construction of dams, it is important to know how much land will get submerged by the dam water. Now, let us know what is meant by mean sea level. Water tides are of two types. They are low tide, high tide, we can observe these tides from the level of the sea and they never stand still. Due to this reason, the level of the sea keeps either raising or falling. Scientists were in a dilemma as to which of these heights must be considered as sea level or zero meter height. After a period of time, scientists clearly observed high and low levels of the sea at frequent intervals and arrived at a calculated average level known as mean sea level. Follow up work. Point out the rivers, railway tracks and famous temples in each state of India map and tick the state capitals. Observe the differences between the lifestyle of people living on high altitudes and low altitudes. Draw the contour lines of different objects like the one shown on screen. You have successfully completed the chapter Reading Maps of Different Kinds.